welcome to this CUBE conversation. Kicking off 2022, I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We're here at Loris De Giovanni, Chief Technology Officer and founder of Sysdig, a company that's in the pioneering cloud native and cloud native security, open source, big part of the CNCF, KubeCon coverage. Of course, we know the, the, that environment, as well as DockerCon, which we've covered many times. Sysdig, very successful company. Uh, Louis, welcome, Louis, welcome to theCUBE conversation. Uh, thank you and thanks for having me. Uh, well, we know a lot about you, but a lot of folks are learning about you guys with your success. Congratulations on the funding and the validation of your product, um, which is not a surprise. We've been saying on theCUBE, open source has been powering innovation for mint some time and getting stronger, faster. The predictions on the Linux Foundation about open source contributions continue to be uh, blown away by their proje projections and more and more is coming. A new generation is upon us, cloud native, edge, Kubernetes, all these things are powering a modern application environment, which is changing business. And under the covers, you guys are a big part of it. So take us through who Sysdig is, what you guys do for the folks out there, and let's get into it. Obviously open source is a big part of it. Take us through who is Sysdig and what do you guys do? Yeah, um, Sysdig helps you run uh, your software in the cloud uh, in a way that is uh, secure and, uh, and, and confidently. Um, we have a solution, a security solution that covers containers, cloud, and Kubernetes. And uh, we uh, cover you in the life cycle of modern applications. So the Sysdig security platform helps you um, uh, secure application in a way that ranges from, you know, like shift left and CICD and fi finding vulnerabilities in your CICD pipeline to runtime security that is very important in the cloud, in particular with, uh, you know, orchestrated infrastructures uh, like the ones that are that are run by Kubernetes. And then of course, everything that has to do with uh, forensics, uh, threat hunting and so on. And the world is changing, uh, security is changing. And, and Sysdig is one of the startups, one of the companies that is, is at the forefront of a true modern cloud native security. So I got to ask you, you know, were you sitting in your backyard one day thinking, hey, I'm going to start a company. Um, how did this all come together? I mean, the origination story, because we saw open source, we saw even before CNCF was formed, you saw what cloud was doing. Again, you saw yeah. OpenStack and all these other things happening around technology. What was the driver behind the founding of Sysdig? And then how did that progress? Because again, there's an open source component here I want to get into. Yeah, and uh, it's interesting that you say backyard because actually CSD was actually started in my backyard, you know, just just, just outside here. So the backyard metaphor is, is very, very fitting here. And uh, in a general way, uh, let's say I come from uh, a background in, uh, in open source for a very long time. The Sysdig is my second company. My, my first company was called Case Technologies. It was the company behind an open source network analyzer called Wireshark, which is widely used by millions and millions of people uh, around the world to do network, network troubleshooting and network analysis. And uh, when we were doing network packets, we uh, were using, uh, you know, like uh, the network devices to collect information. The data that is, that is being transferred on the network has some very nice properties. It's rich, it's very deep. When you can see and decode what's what's happening on the network, you can understand what the applications are doing, what the what the users are doing. I used to say packets never lie, right? Because you could connect to the router and collect this data and have a very good picture without having to instrument libraries to link, uh, to install and stuff and so on. And all of a sudden we're moving to the cloud and you know, the router, that was like the vintage point for this beautiful way of doing security and visibility disappears, you know, and you're renting instances that are floating in the Amazon cloud, you know? And uh, when the world changed that way, from one point of view, uh, I was sure that what we were doing before was useful and was powerful for the users. But I was, I was also sure, okay, the world is going to change. Uh, the retrofitted all solutions are not going to work. We can take our product, but then we have the innovator the dilemma. You know, we have a product that we cannot completely radically change. So I decided, let's start from scratch. Let's start this digging. Let's try to understand actually where this cloud is going, where containers are going. There's this new Kubernetes thing, you know, that everybody's talking about. What does it mean, you know, to offer deep, rich, but at the same time lightweight? Uh, and easy to deploy security and visibility for this kind of new way of writing software. And that's how Sysdig was born. 
So if I remember correctly, back in that time frame, the company that you said you found and millions of people using that application. If I remember correctly, that was software network monitoring. Was that, is that true? Was that open source at that time? Was that an open project or was that? Yeah, like Wireshark is a network analyzer and, 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 the, and the, the, the software that we're doing was heavily open source oriented and was, uh, yeah, mostly software. Uh, there were also potential appliances because this was data center, more kind of stuff. And that, and that, that was before cloud even came here. So again, it was before software cloud. defined data center, software defined clouds happening. So again, good, good segue into kind of where security, you mentioned footprints, you can't track, you can track people with packets. So to your point, is this to tie into security? Tell us about where this all fits in with how this fits in with open source and security with the software piece. Yeah, when something is big, essentially the idea was uh, uh, let's learn from our prior life. So, you know, I always say that uh, uh, every new wave of technology is built on the shoulders of the, of the previous one and you never reinvent anything, you, you just apply it, you know, and, and evolve it. And the same thing we did with SISDIG, you know, so we, we learned what was working with our previous approaches that were based on observing the, the application's behavior uh, by, by looking essentially at network, network traffic, but we adapted it to modern uh, infrastructures. And open source was our mantra before with Wireshark and became our mantra with SISDIG, SISDIG, the company name, comes from the open source tool that we released was the first thing that we released um, in our company. And then a few years later with Falco, which now is the premier open source project that was created by SysDig and uh, is now part of the CNCF. It's an incubating project and uh, it's essentially the runtime security tool for containers, Kubernetes and cloud. Take us through that Falcon, because I think this is an important um, distinction on your success trajectory because CNCF has a nice playbook where companies can contribute to the CNCF at the same time that creates an open environment for everyone for all, and then yeah. have a business model tied to it. This is kind of a new, not new, but this is a successful way to be open source and have a commercial opportunity. Yeah, and uh, very much, you know, uh, large, a, a substantial portion of uh, our commercial product is uh, an, let's say an extension, you know, of, uh, of Falco. But uh, uh, let's say our approach was like, let's first produce something that is truly useful for the community and fits in the proper way with the ecosystem, with the rest of the ecosystem. Nowadays, in every field, security as, uh, as well, uh, you don't build anymore uh, a, a single solution. You build something that needs to fit very well in the stack. Kubernetes, Prometheus, uh, network uh, 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 meshes and Istio and this kind of stuff. These all fit together, you know? And so Falco, which is the runtime security component needs to fit as well. So initially we, our focus was like, okay, uh, we need to fill the gap of, uh, of runtime security for containers, for Kubernetes, and also for cloud. But we need to do that in a way that is community first and that uh, uh, really uh, helps, but also engages and takes advantage of the users of the, co of the broader community. And uh, uh, that, at that point, going to the CNCF and telling the CNCF, hey, look, we developed this. Are, we, are you interested in partnering with us and being essentially the, the organization behind, behind this project was very natural. And that's what we did in 2016, sorry, 2018, 2016 is when Falco started, in 2018. And at the point, you know, it's a great partnership because uh, the CNCF is really a great home for all of these projects and really uh, makes it possible for the users to trust a project in a way that they know that even if uh, the commercial backer even if the original creators, even if the team, you know, rotates and changes and evolves, uh, the user, the end users can, can still use this project, trust this project and know that it's community driven, you know? And it's been, it's been a great journey for us. How would you describe what Falco is and what are the key use cases? Yeah, Falco is, uh, I compare it to the security camera for your containers, your hosts and, uh, and your cloud infrastructure. So the same way, that uh, the security camera allows you to observe maybe what's happening in your home. Even if you have a lock, 
it's still useful to have a security camera, right? To understand when something breaks in, what they're doing, when they do it, get, a, get an alarm, you know, when, when, when something bad happens. Similarly, you know, in software infrastructures, you can still have your lock, your firewall and so on, but then you use a security camera like Falco that is able to observe every single container, every single process, every single machine, every single network connection and so on, keep an eye on that. And then it has sort of a policy-based system that uh, uh, includes a bunch of policies that uh, come essentially pre-packaged that uh, allow the users to detect when uh, something dangerous or suspicious uh, happens in their infrastructure. For example, I don't know, somebody's uh, spawning a shell in a Redis container or somebody's logging in AWS without multi-factor authentication. Falco keeps a constant eye and lets you know and gives you an alert when something like that happens. You know what I love about what you guys do and kind of highlights what we've been saying on theCUBE for many, many years is that the, the networking concepts of the older generations have been moving up the stack with cloud because you got rule engines, policy, uh, automation, all these things are, are now part of connected systems. So if you have the cloud, which is essentially distributed computing, you have more networks, more connections. Yeah. And so yeah. the networking paradigms of packets can be moved over to software, uh, just well, software maintenance, if you will, or anything, any middleware, whatever you want to call it. I mean, this is kind of a new paradigm. So, so what's your reaction to that? Uh, I want to get, get your, your take on this because this is kind of really happening. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you are absolutely right. And what, us, you know, as a as a Falco community, or as a or as a SysDig as a company, is uh, exactly that. You know, we're uh, taking the concepts that were maybe at the base of the pre pre previous generation of the data center, uh, in terms of policies, in terms of uh, workloads, uh, and we're sort of elevating them. You know, to to what modern cloud uh, is. To give you an example, I don't know if you remember, but uh, Falco was inspired by a tool called Snort and the company called Source Fire. You know, Snort used to listen on the network, constantly observe the network traffic and apply policies to tell you, okay, you know, somebody has uh, uploaded a file from uh, China and this file contain contains the malware, you know? Now we do this, but we have, we're able to see inside containers, we have cloud context, uh, we understand the regions, uh, we understand Kubernetes namespaces, all this kind of stuff. So we're able to put so much more context and be so much closer to the user. But the concepts are the same. We're just, uh, as I was saying, sitting on the shoulders of people before us that, uh, that invented this and we're, and we're modernizing them. Well, this is, this is what refactoring is all about. This is the benefit of the cloud. I think this is why a lot of the cloud native success is happening because companies are realizing that they can actually not just re-platform in the cloud, but actually refactor their business. Yeah. Completely different, using other paradigms and not necessarily rip and replace or just you know cut and paste. They can take concepts and codify them in their workloads, not necessarily general purpose. So again, key cloud concept and only going to get stronger with the edge developing. So again, more and more complexity, connected complexity. Yeah, complexity that uh, more and more you manage through automation, right? Uh, which is another key concept uh, uh, in the cloud. So uh, we are able as, uh, a, as a market, uh, as a community to have, uh, have and manage more and more complex infrastructures because uh, we have, uh, we have uh, tools that are able to automate, to take care of stuff for us, to potentially remediate, which is another big theme, you know, in modern security for us uh, and, so, and so on. And, and of course, again, companies like SysDig uh, try to really uh, read these and apply it in a proper way that can be the most possible and useful. Ha and hackers love complexity, right? So, and love, love chaos. And so unless you tame that with really good software, this is the key, yeah. key challenge, right? Yeah. You need to manage chaos, and uh, and uh, you need software, good software, to help you manage chaos. All right, final question for you: How is SysDig and the Falco community working with AWS? Yeah, uh, in a number of ways. Um, uh, one of the beauties, as I was telling before, of, of uh, essentially a being built on an open source project like Falco is that uh, you can really work together with uh, cloud providers like AWS. Uh, with mutual advantage. For example, uh, AWS has uh, 
and, and team members, you know, uh, at, at Amazon have uh, done uh, many contributions to Falco and the build system in the integrations and so on. Uh, we partnered as Falco community and the SysDig with AWS to offer proper support for Falco and for SysDig products on Fargate. Uh, which is, you know, managed containers are the future, are very powerful. Everybody wants to go there, but then you need to make sure that uh, you are covered, you know, from the point of view of security, from the point of view of observability and so on. So SysDig and AWS work together on uh, uh, doing a P-Trace based implementation. This is a technical thing, but essentially it means that a tool like Falco can give you its detections, can be the security camera for, for Fargate as well. And in a general way, uh, Amazon is a great partner uh, for us uh, on a daily basis, you know, as a community and as a company. Lars, you got a great company there. And again, great to see you guys grow from the beginning and how the, the wave is here, as I say in California, you guys are riding the right wave. And I think it's just the beginning. I think you're going to see more and more security be programmable, built in, automated, under the covers, invisible but working. And I think the same is going to be true for data and other things. So um, a lot more to do. And again, it's distributed computing. It's, it's, we've seen this movie before, but not in this environment. So new tools are coming and you guys are a big part of it. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE and, and sharing what you guys are doing and the technology behind uh, Sysdig. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. And thank you for the great conversation. Okay, this is theCUBE. I'm John Furrier, your host for CUBE Conversation with Sysdigs, Larissa DiGiovanni, CTO of Sysdig. Thanks for watching. <laughs>